Now, this is the second part of uh, our machine. So we have velocity ratio of each machine. Like we discussed in the previous video. So mechanical advantage of any machine still remain uh, load over effort. Right? Same thing applicable to formula for uh, efficiency. But velocity ratio is different from one machine to another. For the lever, lever takes the formula, our general formula. For the lever, so the velocity ratio is distance, distance move by the effort over distance move by the load. So don't forget I said it does not have a unit, that's for lever. Then the second machine is inclined plane. So the velocity ratio of an inclined plane, something we can easily uh, derive. So inclined plane looks like this. So normally you use it to load uh, lorries. So let's say we have to carry load from here to here. But because we are unable to carry at once like this, we want to use inclined plane method. This is angle of inclination. Uh -huh. This is the load. The load will move from here to here, to this place. Therefore, the distance moved by the load is, because we are asked to carry load from here to here, but you use your own effort to push it from here to here. So this plane will serve as distance moved by the effort. Distance moved by the word Effort. But this is what? The actual distance moved by the load. Distance moved by the load. So, if you look at the sine sin theta, therefore sine theta is equal to opposite. That is, distance moved by the load over distance moved by the effort. Distance moved by the effort. So, which is what? Reciprocal of actual velocity ratio of uh, uh, formula for velocity ratio, which is supposed to be distance moved by the effort over distance moved by the load. In order to have that, we have to look for reciprocal of both sides. If we look for reciprocal of this one, in fact, this one will be 1 over sine theta is equal to 1 over this, will give us distance moved by the effort over distance moved by the load. And this is what? Velocity formula for velocity ratio. Therefore, 1 over sine theta is equal to velocity ratio. In conclusion, velocity ratio for an inclined plane is equal to 1 over sine theta. 1 over sine theta. Now, let's move to the next uh, uh, machine. Let's use weight. For the weight, so weight is just like tissue that they normally use to cut things. So it looks like this. Hey, this place is called thickness, thickness T. Why this one is slant eye, slant eye. So when you hit it, so this place will enter inside the load. Therefore, the ferocity ratio of weight for weight is equal to slant height over thickness. That's for uh, velocity ratio of weight. Then let's go to wheel and ashu. For the wheel and ashu, so we have it like this. It may be in two different forms. It may look like this, this one, and this, just like our bicycle. Eh? The ashu is at the back, the wheel is in the front. So, you know, when, by the time you apply, uh, by the time you apply your effort here, yeah, so the, your effort will move through a complete circle. And this formula will find the circumference of this circle A. Let's say this one is capital R, then the load will move through this small R. Therefore, circumference here is 2 pi capital R, while this one is 2 pi small r. Therefore, distance moved by the effort here. Yeah? So, velocity ratio for wheel and ashu is equal to 2 pi capital R over 2 pi small r. This cancel this. So, velocity ratio is capital R over 
small a. That is for we are now. Then for the screw jack. For the screw jack. So that one is just like uh, when you are using screw to screw your what? Screwdriver to screw something in. Yeah. Or you are using bolt. So we have, let's say we have our boat like this. The head. So we have thread. So by the time you screw it, your effort will move through a complete circle. Therefore, distance moved by the effort, distance moved by the effort is equal to the movement through a complete circle. That is 2 pi r. But when the effort moves through a complete circle, one thread and eh, we enter inside the wood or whatever you are tightening together. And distance between one thread to another one is called pitch. Pitch P. Therefore, the load will move through a distance between successive what thread while the effort will move through 2 pi r. Therefore, velocity ratio for screw jar is equal to distance moved by the effort, that is 2 pi r, over distance moved by the load of a P. So that is formula for velocity ratio of screw jar. What of pulley? The simplest one. And pulley system. For the pulley system, what you just need to do when you have this, we have a pulley like this. We have this, we have this, then we have you apply your load like this. So this is where we have our load. Then this is how we're going to apply. Uh, let's I mean load here, effort here. So with that one, this one is very simple. What just need to do? Count the number of pulley system you have there. Like this one, we have one, two, three. So velocity ratio is equal to three. If it is two, then have this, we have this. So have it like this. So just count one, two, velocity ratio is equal to two. Very simple for pulley. When the next one is gear, that, that is the last one. So velocity ratio of a gear, that one too, is just like that of wheel and ash. We have gear with sticks. So we have this one too. So what you just need to do, if this one is driven, why this one is driver, I need driving. So count the number of teeth, the number of teeth in driven, that was the last ratio for gear, is equal to number of teeth in driven. Number of teeth in driven gear over Number of teeth in driving gear. So that is that about that. Take note, each type of machine has its own velocity ratio. Well, all of them, they have the same formula for mechanical advantage and velocity ratio.